that Simone Biles may have missed out on a fourth gold medal at the Paris Olympics because of yet another scoring inquiry error. As you can imagine, this caused waves amongst gymnastics fans, especially those of Simone Biles. Not that it would have made a difference, she is already the most decorated gymnast of all time after all. But as some would argue, it's the principle, not the practice. With or without what would have been her fourth Olympic gold from Paris, Simone already had a blast in her most recent Olympic experience. And honestly, it showed in her performances. Truth be told, some were worried about how she would address the pressure of competing in the games again after she had to withdraw from some events in her last Olympic run because of the twisties. So one of the questions that lingered ahead of this year's Summer Games was how Simone Biles would handle the Olympic stage again three years after Tokyo 2020 in 2021. The short answer would be spectacularly. For one, the 27-year-old led the American women back to the team title at the outset of the artistic gymnastics event, before she captured a second individual all-around crown, eight years after her first and gold on vault. Biles' third Olympics ended with a silver medal on floor, runner-up to an inspired Rebecca Andrade of Brazil, who had pushed Biles to the brink in the all-around. Simone's teammate and friend, Jordan Chiles, settled for bronze. Despite this, both Simone and Jordan remained in high spirits. What made this even more special is the fact that it was in a press conference Simone told anyone who would listen, which is literally everyone, I've accomplished way more than in my wildest dreams, not just at this Olympics, but in the sport. She further admitted that a couple of years ago, she didn't think she'd be back at an Olympic Games. So competing and then walking away with four medals, I'm not mad about it, I'm pretty proud of myself," Simone concluded. She's also proud of the way she handled her loss from Andrade. To be fair, her Paris experience had not been smooth sailing for Simone at every turn. She struggled on the uneven bars during the individual final, in third place after two rotations, and even fell midway through her beam routine, an uncharacteristic error that dropped her to a fourth place finish. Still, she concluded her third Olympics on a successful note. She added three more golds, in team, individual all-around, and on vault, and that silver on floor, to her already remarkable collection. After Paris, Simone Biles now has seven Olympic golds in her career, and 11 podiums in total. Now here's where things got a little complicated. You are probably already aware of the fact that Jordan Chiles filed an appeal with the Swiss Supreme Court after she was stripped off the bronze medal for the individual Olympic floor exercise. In light of this, the new appeal included audio-visual evidence that challenges the court of arbitration for sport ruling that Chiles' coach, Cecile Landy, did not submit an inquiry within the required time limit. That's an entirely different issue, and a huge one at that. So how does Simone factor into this? Well, the footage includes the audio of Landy's inquiries. This was filmed as part of Team USA teammate Simone Biles' documentary, Simone Biles Rising. Landy, who is also Biles' coach, was mic'd up for the documentary and can be heard saying inquiry for Jordan twice before the one minute deadline. That's not all. Apparently, the footage also reveals that Landy had tried to submit an inquiry for Biles who finished in second behind Rebecca Andrade. And that's where all her broke loose. At least for Simone's army of fans, which is a whole lot. The video submitted to the Swiss Federal Tribunal as evidence to help Jordan Chilis' appeal showed another missed scoring inquiry for Biles' floor routine. This could have put her in the lead instead of Brazil's Rebecca Andrade, who took home the gold with a 0.033 points advantage. For context, Biles asked Laurent Landy if he was asking the judges about her appeal, and it was Cécile who replied to Biles. Laurent was then heard speaking French before Cécile turned back to Biles and said, Biles was penalized 0.6 points for stepping outside of the competition mat. If she had gotten full credit for her split leap, it would have given her an additional 0.10 in difficulty and a 14.233. That would have put her ahead of Andrade who scored a 14.166. If Biles had won gold in that event, 
the U.S. would have finished with 41 gold medals at the Paris Games and in sole possession of the gold medal lead. Instead, the U.S. settled for a tie with China at 40 golds, as many took to social media to lament what could have been Biles's eighth gold medal overall and her fourth in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Biles herself commented on the incident. Replying to an X post, Simone wrote, Honestly not a big deal for me, Rebecca had a better floor anyways. Upsetting how it wasn't processed, but I'm not mad at the results. She may have been okay with what happened to her inquiry, but Jordan's fight is not something she would easily brush off. In the same tweet, Simone added, But justice for Jordan, you hear me? With all the capital letters and the exclamation marks, it's easy to see how incensed she is about the issue. Well, what would you expect after she saw Chilla's awarded the bronze at the event, but later made to give it back? In an exclusive interview with People, Biles shared how she felt about all that. We saw what you did, Biles said of Chili's. And it's an unfortunate circumstance because something like this has never happened before. And it's truly a shame. But we wish all three girls could get the medal. And unfortunately in gymnastics, that's not the case. She continued, Do we think they did the correct procedures to come to this ruling? No. That's really why we want that justice for Jordan and why we're going to keep supporting her and uplifting her. It's great that Jordan is surrounded by people who support her and would fight for her, while they are not in any way ready to put this behind them. At least in the near future, Jordan and Simone are not putting everything on hold either. In fact, Biles, the American gymnastics superstar, is back on the big stage. The 41-time world and Olympic medalist very recently kicked off her 30-city arena tour, aptly named the Gold Over America Tour or GOAT in Oceanside, California. She and the rest of the cast will perform again at Front Wave Arena before heading to Phoenix and then Los Angeles. Biles is joined by her Olympic gold medal winning teammates Jade Carey, Jordan Chiles, and Hesley Rivera along with U.S. Olympic team bronze medalists Paul Judah, Brody Malone, and Frederick Richard. Other gymnasts participating include Olympic alternate Jocelyn Roberson, Tokyo 2020, Olympians Shane Wiskus and Yul Moldwehr, NCAA standout Trinity Thomas, and world medalists Ellie Black of Canada and Melanie De Jesus Dos Santos of France. The show promises to be a high-energy and high-flying gymnastics meets pop concert spectacle, according to a release from The Goat, which is honestly a great representation of who Simone is. Fun fact, she showed up in the interview with... When asked about it, Simone's answer was actually funny. Talking about the tour though, she said, We all deserve this. We've worked so hard for so many years. It's time to have some fun and inspire the younger generations. No question, they do deserve to just have fun. But are other athletes doing so as well? Watch this to find out. This.